It is Good Friday once again. Time for each one of us, my dear sisters and brothers, to visit or perhaps revisit the spirituality of the cross, the suffering and death of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. In order to do so today, I would like to situate this spirituality in, in the life and times of one of the great saints of this century, Saint Oscar Romero. He was canonized on the 14th of October in 2018 and just about a month ago on the 24th of March. In fact, because it was a Sunday, we observed it on the 23rd of March. We celebrated his first feast day as a saint in the Catholic Church. From the moment, however, Oscar Romero was killed on the 24th of March, 1980, millions of people regarded him as a saint, both in his native country, El Salvador, all over South America, and in several parts of the world. Why? Because Oscar Romero was a great believer of the cross. But for him, he did not limit his spirituality, his sense of being a witness and disciple of Jesus merely to the cross. He believed that the suffering of his people was something which was a scandal, just like the scandal of the cross. And for that, he was ready to lay down his life, thanks to his good friend, the Jesuit Trutulio Grande, who was assassinated on the 12th of March, 1977, just three years earlier. What did Oscar Romero mean to his people and to the world at large? First of all, it was commitment. His unflinching commitment to the mission and message of Jesus and to his people. And that's what Jesus on the cross means to each one of us. A commitment to the very end, ready to give up all things so that each one of us might be redeemed. Oscar Romero believed in reconciliation, a reconciliation that heals, a reconciliation with the world. He did not believe that his people had to suffer and he worked towards a world a country which was more harmonious, more peaceful. Those who controlled the lives and destinies of his people did not want that reconciliation. And he, they had him assassinated on the 24th of March, 1980. One of the things that the cross reminds us is of that beam, which is horizontal. Jesus with his outstretched arms Arms that are willing to embrace everything in life, the goodness in life, the values of justice, of liberty, of equality and fraternity. And that is exactly what Oscar Romero did. He welcomed into his arms the poor, the suffering, the people who suffered from injustice in his country. And at the same time, those outstretched arms brought healing, brought the gift of peace to many. And when we look at the cross today, we realize that the outstretched arms of Jesus is all embracing, it's inclusive, and above all, welcomes each one of us into the loving embrace of the Father. It is a surrender. When Jesus goes to the Garden of Gethsemane on the night before he suffered and died, he prays, Father, if it's possible, take this cup away from me. And that is what surrender is about. It is not easy. It is not giving up, but looking at the possibility of choices, yet willing to go the whole way. He embraced the cross. Oscar Romero did exactly that. He embraced the cross, the suffering of his people, till the moment he was assassinated. It means sacrifice. When one surrenders, when one gives up something, it means a great sacrifice. It's not easy to let go. In a world which is very covetous, which is very greedy, which is possessive, which speaks about power, to let go, to make a sacrifice of things that mattered the most 
it, it means a lot. Oscar Romero lived the sacrifice in the simple, small, ordinary things of daily life. In one of his writings, he says, if Christ had wanted to impose his redemption through armed force or through fire and violence, he would have achieved nothing. That would have been useless. There would be only more hatred and wickedness. But going straight to the heart of redemption, Christ tells us on this night, this night of Good Friday, this of, or of Holy Thursday, this is my commandment, as I have loved you. So you also should love one another. And he says more, so that you may see that these are not simply words. Stay with me tonight, when I will sweat blood as I observe the evil of humankind and the pain of my own sufferings. And tomorrow, you will see me carrying the cross like a silent lamb and dying on Calvary. Be assured that I bear no resentment towards anybody. From the depths of my soul, I will cry out, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Let us, my dear sisters and brothers, celebrate Good Friday. It is truly a celebration. It is the day that Jesus brings us redemption in no other way but in suffering and dying on the cross. But celebration of Good Friday doesn't stop. Only on Good Friday. It goes on to the resurrection. May the cross of our Saviour Jesus Christ touch our lives and bring to each one of us a commitment, a deep sense of reconciliation, giving our own outstretched arms, being ready to surrender and ultimately make a sacrifice for the greater good and very specially for our other sisters and brothers. May the Lord help us all.